Korea launched its first reserve officer training program today with a ceremony at the school in Daejeon that will host that program. It's all part of a government effort to fill its ranks with more officers and fewer troops. Our Connie Kim reports. They stand resolute and determined, ready to protect Korea and its citizens. These young trainees are part of the first class of cadets in the country's first reserve non-commissioned training corps program. A ceremony to kick things off was held Wednesday at the Taejeon Institute of Science and Technology, a two-year vocational school in the heart of the country. While in school, the cadets will receive a military education alongside their regular classes and will go through training drills during their summer and winter vacations. Upon completing the program, they'll be staff surgeons. The first batch of cadets say they're honored to be part of this program and hope to be good role models for future classes. After receiving the training here, I believe I can grow into a strong squad commander and formulate the right priorities for serving Korea. I want to be an honest army officer for junior cadets, and I also will do my best to serve my country. The program is significant not only for the school but also for the country, as the government seeks to increase the number of officers by more than 13 percent by 2020, while also lowering troop numbers. One of the founding principles of our school is serving the country. In that sense, training our students to become officers has great significance and will be a great asset to the nation. Looking around the new facility for the new cadets, school officials expressed hope the school will succeed in its new role as a training ground for members of the military. A total of six model schools will be offering the training program. Military authorities say they'll decide on whether to expand the program to other schools after a review in 2017. Connie Kim, Arirang News, Daejeon.